Hello everyone, it's Thomas here. This is a short tutorial to teach you how to complete the dubbing and the voiceover assignments using the program Windows Movie Maker. This can be used in Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 8, but also in Windows 10. First of all, drag and drop the original video file onto the large square and a horizontal bar will appear. That's the reproduction of your video and you may select which part to analyze. If you double click on that horizontal bar, the commands section will change. On the upper left corner, clicking on the button that looks like a loudspeaker, you will be allowed to raise or lower the volume of the original track. Then, if you go back to the main menu, there is a section to record a new audio track. But you may also include a track that you have previously recorded in a different program. Select the file that you have previously recorded, if that is the case, and open it. At that point, a new bar on a different color will show you the sound spectrum for your recording. You may add as many as you need, including sound effects. Then, go back to the video or the audio and regulate how high or how low you want it. You may want the new track a little bit higher and the original track as low as possible, perhaps 20 or 25 percent of the original volume. Once you have both the spectra, you go to export project or save film and the format, the ideal format for this case would be YouTube because it's the smallest one. One minute will be about 35 to 40 megabytes. Another option would be to erase the file that we have uploaded and record our own. Keep in mind that if it is a voiceover you want, the volume should be about 25% and if it is a dubbing, 0% and you will include the new audio track. Go to the icon that looks like a microphone in the main menu, press the red button and start talking. When hay fever Poland invades your sinuses, oh. brings runny nose, watery eyes, take Dristan. Dristan's like sending your sinuses to Arizona. Yes, Dristan's like... Sending your sinuses to Arizona. That is, Dristan helps you breathe free and easy, as if you were far away from pollen or allergy irritation. Yes, Dristan's like sending your sinuses to Arizona. Helps dry, runny nose, itchy, watery eyes. You see, Dristan tablets shrink swollen, congested nasal and sinus passages which cause runny nose and watery eyes. So, you breathe free and easy fast. So, when Poland invades oh. your sinuses causing hay fever miseries, don't wish you could be in sunny, dry Arizona. Just remember, Dristan's like... Sending your sinuses to Arizona. Get Dristan decongesting tablets. <sighs> the moment you stop your recording, a new file will be automatically created. You have to indicate to the program where you want to save this MP3 file. Once you save it, it will appear below the horizontal bar. You may make any adjustments you wish. There is the possibility to cut a fragment, to place it before, to place it after the point that you had selected initially, to regulate the volume, but once again it depends on if it is a voiceover or if it is a dubbing. If it is a voiceover, put the volume of the new audio track higher and the volume of the original audio track much lower, 20 or 25 percent we said before. If it is a dubbing, eliminate the original track, simply by bringing the volume down to zero. Then export it in YouTube format, that will be 35 to 40 megabytes. You write the name of the new file, name of the product, voiceover, or Dristan number one, or maybe another type of nomenclature that is very clear for you for the next step, which will be uploading the actual videos to YouTube, as explained in the other tutorial. This transformation in Windows Movie Maker tends to take a while. I have abbreviated the process here, but it may take between 10 and 15 minutes if your computer is not very powerful. Then, once the process is complete, a new file with a video and the new audio will be generated, but it's important that you export the film, rather than exporting the project. The project and the film are two different things. Save the file and you're ready to go. The only thing that is left to do is to locate it in your desktop 
and to continue working with the other parts. The first one, remember, was imitation, based on the original script, the second one the keywords and phrases, and lastly the free adaptation. That's all, goodbye!